for Young Jizzle, nigga. Y'all know what it is, man. DJ Dales. Peace, man. What's up, y'all? This is Common, and right now you checking out DJ Dales. Stay in tune with him, all right? DJ Dales, absolutely wonderful. What it do, what it does, the kid. Mr. R.I.P. himself. Low so case you ain't no so rockin' with DJ Dales. And then with it, y'all, it's your boy, Neighborhood Nip. Big shout out to my homeboy, DJ Dales. No question, Neighborhood Nip. Dales, Red, man, I'm in the building. Let's get it. Yo, man, oh man, oh man, how fast did these sneakers sell out today? Wow, unbelievable. I mean, these things just flew. I tried buying them, no luck whatsoever. I tried on Foot Locker, I tried on Jimmy Jazz, I tried on Nike sneakers, no luck. Every time I try checking out, I mean, not available right away. I was on Foot Locker because I've been having success on Foot Locker lately. So I've been focused on Foot Locker instead of that damn sneakers app. And I'll tell you, man, I was right there. Tried getting them. As soon as that clock hit, I had the nine ready, wouldn't go. And then, you know, at the same time, I'm trying on sneakers. And it just kept giving me a damn error. I mean, a bunch of damn, um, you know, red um, numbers and letters and all types of shit. So I couldn't get it there. And then Jimmy Jazz kept asking me stupid questions, like, you know, quick where the sidewalks are. And then I get past that. And then it'll bring me back to a, another page. And so no luck whatsoever. I decided to go for it because I've noticed there was a lot of hype on Twitter last night. Just and this morning, so many people talking about this damn sneaker. So I said, all right, no playing around. This shit is selling out, you know. Um, yesterday, I was kind of on the fence because all the other ones sat, you know. But I was like, nah, there's too much hype. I seen some of the hype beast, you know, tweeting shit all the time on, on Twitter. Even the ones I don't follow, you guys that I do follow, you like their stuff. And then I see their shit on my damn Twitter feed. So um, it was not good today. Let's see how everyone did. Let me know if you went for it. Did you buy? Did you hit? Did you miss? Um, please hit the thumbs up button right now. Let's get a lot of likes for the live streams. We are officially at six weeks consecutive every single day been doing a stream during this Corona crap to entertain you all. So hit the thumbs up button. Super chat is active. Cash app is right there. Bong, bong. Um, but, you know, thumbs ups are free. So, I mean, you know, just show that love. Big Tim says that he is so pissed. D says L's. B says um, I hit. Not on my size, though. Oh, well, that's something. At least you can maneuver. You have the opportunity to maneuver right there. So, you know, it's better than nothing. Hopefully you'll be able to maneuver that. Maybe you are going for the flip. It looks like... Um, Doubt you were trying to wear them though, because you got the sad emoji. Uh, Michael says, I was on 959, take that loss. Uh, L's all day. They're going to have restocks. Yes, I agree. And that's a great segue because we might as well get to that right now. Uh, we've seen this with the red carpets, guys. They sold out so fast, right? And then they came back. And there was like a shitload of pairs. So don't get sad yet, all right? I mean, you could be disappointed because of the fact that you really wanted them. But there is a good chance there's going to be restocks on this. I'm, I'm pretty confident. I'm, you know, I've been watching this damn sneaker game for a long time. And um, they've been playing around with this restock shit. Um, you never know how many pairs Nike has. And they consistently just keep restocking all of these sevens, China moons. How many times did more sizes come up on the China moons, you know, and these damn um, all stars? Well, the all star is not really so much, but um, the China moons and the red carpets. So, you know, don't um, don't give up yet. Keep checking that website. I would say to do so. Um, Slat says big L for me. Shake my head. Let's see where we are. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm just trying to find my place. 
Okay, my air says instant sellout. Yes, it was it was literally an instant sellout. And um, man, I, I'm a little nervous about these Flint 13s because I think the Flint 13s have more hype than this. <laughs> I'm like, I'm shaking in my boots a little bit. But um, at the end of the day, too, retailers are beginning to open, so we may have a better chance of getting those Flints now. David says, I hope you're right, Josh. Yeah, and, and I, I agree. I, there will be restocks on Nike store. So just keep checking that out daily, guys, because you just never know. Um, let's see. Foot Locker dropped last night. I didn't I, – there was a clock when I checked, but, you know, maybe shit. Maybe there was some situation where it went live for a little bit. Let me know if you guys have any intel on that. Um, let's, um, get to the sneaker of the stream and we'll get more into these comments. So every single stream, I do the sneaker of the stream this way you, you're kind of, you know, wanting to watch all of them just in case you don't care about the actual content, like what we're talking about the subject. Um, so I felt like it was right to um, show this shoe right here because I feel like it's almost, it, it isn't even almost, it's damn what disrespectful that this shoe did not sell out because to me, it's one of the hottest shoes to release this year. And it's these LeBron Fairfax sevens. And it's just crazy to me that people like aren't buying this right here. Like to me, this is such a dope pair of kicks and I highly recommend you buy these. Like right now, if you're like, damn, I, I struck out on the damn LeBron media days. And if you don't have any LeBrons, Buy this sneaker. I mean, this is a great pair of shoes. And I have it linked in the description box below for your convenience. So you can literally go and cop them right now or after the stream. The link is in the description underneath the screen and the thumbs ups and all that. Just go there and get these because they're really awesome shoes. I mean, they look amazing. I love how you have that red bubble right there on that air unit. You've got a pretty decent tumbled leather on the shoe. So, you know, you have a combination of actual leather fuse and then the pan leather, which pops like crazy. These things look amazing on feet. And I highly recommend that everyone, I'm, I'm telling you, everyone buy this sneaker. I know a lot of you are upset about the Lakers, but these are way more wearable. And this shoe in general, the, La the LeBron 7 is such a dope model. So you're really missing out, like, when it comes to sneakers. And footwear, if you don't own a LeBron 7, you like you literally are missing out. I understand there's so much hype because the Lakers and also LeBron and then Kobe on top of that. But in general, and I don't mean that with any disrespect to you or to even like, you know, people are so freaking ultra sensitive. You are Kobe or any, anyone. I don't mean it in that. People always are trying to pull shit and get offended by everything. The wind blows the wrong way. But this right here is such a dope pair of shoes and you could get this right now and like it's just crazy to me this sneaker was a player exclusive that very few people had you know like mayor and a few other of the you know very known sneaker collectors had and this was a very sought after pair of shoe that people dreamed about having 10 years ago and it came back and it's like it's so crazy to me that this media day shoe sold out so fast, but you could buy this right now. I mean, like this, I'm telling you right now, I don't push sneakers, like, and I don't want to come off that way, but this is an incredible pair of shoes right here. Not even, like, this colorway is sick, but in general, this is an amazing shoe. So everyone should own a pair of LeBron 7s. Like, everyone and their mother should own a pair of LeBron 7s. Don't be a hype beast. And be like, oh, I don't have any in the Lakers. The, the media day sold out. I'm so sad. You could buy like this right now. You know, like, are you buying it because you're trying to flip? Are you buying it because of the hype? Like, what's going on here? And I'm, I'm not saying everyone in this chat, but it's so strange to me how all of these LeBrons are sitting, but there's hype and there's resell and there's value to the media days. But these are sitting, and so many other ones are. And and how many people don't even have one pair of LeBron 7s but are so sad that they missed out on those Lakers? 
Um, I, I may be coming off like an asshole, but sometimes I do that. You know, I'm, I'm keeping it fucking 100 right now. There's so many people on Twitter, so sad, just people in this chat. How many of you actually own a pair of LeBron 7s? There's so many awesome pairs available right now. Go buy a pair. Go get a pair of these damn shoes because they're fucking awesome. It's as simple as that. They're awesome shoes. Stop being cheaps because of the damn media day and, oh, everyone wants the shoe. But meanwhile, you have zero pairs in your closet. You know, this is this is legendary, this model in general. So salute to Nike and LeBron for putting out a great model. And it, it just it showed today how many sheeps there are on this planet and how people just don't they just have to follow whatever the trend is. You know what I'm saying? Like they have to like you just can't like what you like. You know what I'm saying? Like. This shoe, for instance, this colorway is way more matchable, way more wearable. But how many people really bought this shoe? But everyone's so damn sad about the Laker one, which is mismatched. Who wears Laker colors all the time? It's so weird to me. Let me know how you feel about that. And if if you disagree with me, please go in the comments and disagree with me. I'm not here for cheering like cheerleaders, but if you agree with me, also let me know. Um Victor saying there's a full size run in Asia. All right. And Ruben says he hit that W. Salute to you. Let's see. Raw Jordan says he got him. GA Kick says caught an L. Damn. Nikki got him. Shout out to Nikki V. You know, I see some regulars in here. I, that sucks that GA Kicks wasn't able to get him because he's a regular here. Uh, Midnight Ninja says W. Nikki, I'm chilling, brother. I'm glad to see you here. Big Tress says resale prices are crazy. What is the resale price right now? I wish I thought to put a link in the description to um, StockX so we could just check that real quickly. Al Diggy says hit on sneakers app, size eight and a half. That's awesome, man. Yes, I went for them. I struck out miserably miserably. I completely struck out, unfortunately. Um, I needed a size nine, just like my dude here needs a size nine. I need a size nine. Um, I pay resale, have to have them. Yeah, I'm, I'm cheap, bro. I'm not I'm not spending a dime over resale. It's not happening. Um, Victor A says, I'm going to hit on that um, Pequeno Juan Scarface tee. <laughs> yes, the t-shirts are linked below. Pick up those t-shirts. Slat says the L um let's see where are we shit and i see there's some super chats i'm gonna get to those in just a second i appreciate it i ain't forget about y'all cj says um lebron's are sick tokyo says struck out um d says for the flip jen and will says as a laker fan i really want those took a big fat out well there's other laker colorways you could get to um Jen and Will, there's a Laker Low 17. If you like the sneaker, it's a white um, home colorway. I like them. I personally think they're dope. I have them at my blog, thesneakeratic.com. Thesneakeratic.com. You can find everywhere you can buy it there. Or you can just go to Foot Locker or, you know, Nike or any of these places. They have a Lakers colorway that you can buy. I mean, it'll match perfect, perfect. Um, Victor says the media days are the China moons. Um, I mean, I like the media days cause it's like a historic moment. You know, he's with the Lakers and, and I just like, I wanted the shoe as a collector's piece, to be honest with you. I would wear it maybe once a year. You know, I, I don't wear Laker colors a lot, Like that's like a once a year kind of thing. I did not hit sadly. Uh, but I own like almost every colorway of this shoe. You know, I collect these. So I, I wanted them. I like I, I've been buying these for 10 years. <laughs> I have I bought them the first time they came around, all the OG colorways. Like this is a that's what I was trying to say. Like this is an amazing shoe, the LeBron 7 in general. Once again, I have it in the description box below. They fit true to size. Get yourself a pair of LeBron 7s. You you're cheating yourself out, not getting them. Um, okay, he got them. Sneaker zap. Um, yeah, I, I keep seeing sizes popping up popping up, but I think it's just the, the website messing up. I, I don't believe that you're gonna be able to get them anymore. But hey, why not try? 
Um, he copped on Jimmy Jazz. Yeah, I tried on Jimmy Jazz too, man. It, that damn pop up with quick these photos, these images, every time it goes to the next page, then it brings me back to that page. A little frustrating today. CJ says um, the LeBron 7 All-Star Corrine Blue. Yeah, I mean, I have, as I said, there's a link in the description. You can, It's to these shoes and the Corrine Blue. So you can literally go there and cop them. You know what I'm saying? Like the All-Stars are fire too. They got the wood grain with the reflective. But this is a way more wearable shoe, like colorway-wise. Um, the the chlorine blue is loud. It's like you're wearing the Smurfs on your feet. But I love them. Easy cop in Singapore. Well, I wish I was in Singapore right now, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad you got him, though. Uh, David says tripled up on them. David, you ain't get shit, bro. You don't even have a picture in your damn thing. <laughs> Victor Ray says, I need those spare facts, but wait for the price to drop. Yeah, you, you got to get these, man. I, I'm telling you, like, I just, I don't understand that. What, whatever, at the end of the day. Um, GA Kicks, right? Appreciate your work. Unfortunately, I took an L. And thank you for the super chat. Super chat is active, guys. Show that love and support. Six weeks, every single day I've been streaming to try to entertain you all. So show that love. And um, I, I hate that you took an L because I know you love your sneakers like I do. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll get that restock on um, he writes facts with the all stars and the fair facts. Those fair facts are sitting, y'all, are so disrespectful. <laughs> it's crazy to me. He said he got two pairs. Dope. Give me a size nine <laughs> or sell me a size nine. Excuse me. What's up? Oh, double E. T says took the L, went to gold and bought them for two. 55 then check five minutes later yeah you will that was good you got them early um let's see we got a super chat too um from from mook trey lifestyles he, i'm gonna put your thing in the screen in a second he writes facts i'm a big fan of sevens it took a loss um thank you for that super chat i'm gonna put your thing in a second i'm just trying to get to it but i, I do want to acknowledge that i see that um saints forever writes just banged my knee. Um, I got two pairs, and I'm sad because as a Lakers fan, I need that. You have two pairs? Oh, two pairs of the sevens. Okay. Um, sevens are made comfortable and look sick on feet. Yes, I mean, they're crazy with the pad leather and pop. And, you know, it's got the vibe like a, like a, a Jordan 11. But I, I like the shape of the shoe, too. It's different than the Jordan 11 with the – Full length air unit, like this is a badass pair of sneakers. Like, like you know, I'm just saying, man. You know, it's almost like I'm just trying to wake people up. Like, just because you struck out on the shoe, like there's other colorways. I guarantee you, 80 percent of y'all in this chat right now, or that are watching on the replay, do not own any of these effing sneakers. Buy yourself a pair of these shits. Don't be a hype beast in the sheet, man. If you were, if you're very upset about you know, not getting them. There's other shoes. You know what I'm saying? There's other shoes. And then some people will say this. They'll say, oh, well, you know, I like the Laker colorway. I don't really like the sneaker. Well, right now you can get the LeBron 17 low. That's a Laker colorway. So if you don't like this shoe, this silhouette, then go buy that silhouette. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's just, it's so weird to me, like, how some people feel like they they have to follow, you know, like, it's so strange. Like, that's not what sneaker culture to me is. It's about you repping yourself. You know what I'm saying? Not following what other people are doing. Um, Raver said, I was 50-50 on that. So you're putting words in my mouth, Raver Kicks. If you watch the stream, I was 50-50 on it. And how can I not think that they were going to possibly sit when every other shoe sat? Once again, don't be a fucking cheap, brother. These shoes right here were going for about five grand before they released all right and these sat so if these could sit then why the hell couldn't the lakers sit definitely a sheep boy i mean i say that with love too by the way i'm just kidding <laughs> 350 sheesh uh let's see let's see what we got here okay he hit on those that's what's up dude and um, damn, where the hell is that cash app? So I can put that on the screen. Okay, here's that cash app. Yeah, these shoes are so sick, man. LeBron 7s, 
once again, true to size as far as the fit, guys. And treat yourself to a pair. Treat yourself to a pair, man. Like, for real. You got to check my ring. You guys have the ring app? I love it. You can check everything in front of your house with the cameras. Love the damn ring app. Thank you once again for that super chat. Super chat is open. Cash app is. If you guys um, watch this on the replay and you want to send me any kind of donations, any kind of love, that's where it is. I always shout you out on the next stream. And also, PayPal is in the description box below, too. Okay, let's see what we got here. And thank you again for that super chat, too. Um, let's see. He says, the only LeBron 7 I would get is the Christ the King. I own those. They're sick. And um, we'll see if they ever bring those back. Those are amazing shoes. Um, King says, yes, I hit media days and the lows. Good. I like to see that. You know what I'm saying? You love the Lakers. You're into the Lakers. Get the LeBron low 17. Why the fuck not? Full size run. You could buy them. I'm going to I'm gonna eventually put a link in the description for those. I mean, why wouldn't you get those Laker lows for anyone that's a Laker fan that's like, oh, well, this sneaker, I, I don't have this in the collection. I just wanted Laker colorways. There's a full size run right now, and they're cheaper than these shoes. These are I just don't get it, man. Sometimes some some of y'all are crazy. I, I I say it with love too, guys. I'm not trying to be a dick. I say this with love, like it's tough love. Like I just don't get it. <laughs> uh, Quest says got the W on a size nine, but the best LeBron to me is the King Pride Eleven. Those are those are gorgeous. I used to have those. Um, that one had the iridescent upper, if I'm not mistaken. And I, I can't wait for them to bring back the LeBron 11. I, I love the LeBron 11. Fugo Bear, he hit the W. Good for him. And I really mean it. I, I, I don't want to sound like I'm being salty. I'm, I'm happy that he, you got it, bro. Zachary, size 9, DM. Get out of here, you reseller. <laughs> but, I got to pay attention to what I'm posting. Okay, he got a size eight and a half. Um, let's see. Took a huge L. Uh, Saint says got three pairs of LeBron sevens. Um, took the L. Um, huge LeBron fan. Get the LeBron low if you like that one. The LeBron seventeen low available and it and it's a Laker colorway and they did a good job on the colorway. Slats laughing. See, GA kicks the prices down for Fairfax. I mean, you know, the Fairfax, all of the sevens didn't sell. That's that's really like what it is. That's just so I just think it's funny. Like, like, don't you think it's a little weird that how many people are so upset that they struck out on the shoe, but they have none of these, but They'll they'll say to you, oh well, you know, I don't really like the silhouette. I want Laker sneakers, but then they'll have the damn. There's a Laker colorway right now you can buy from the new LeBron, the new LeBron low, and and no one's buying that. It's like you make people making no sense here. You know the people that think this way um, needs a size ten. All right, you got them good. That's what's up. Got a super chat in. What do I think about them Yeezys today? Nah, not for me. Um, I don't like them. Um, they're not horrible, but I'm not a fan of them, Nikki. Uh, they, they, um, they're kind of cool, but not for me. We'll say that with the blue, and they're okay. Um, I can understand why people would buy them, but uh, it wasn't even on my radar. Um, I want the Quantums. I want those Quantums so badly, and um, you know. I also want those 380s. I keep seeing pictures of people wearing the 380s. I'm, I've grown to like that sneaker a lot. So um, that's another one that I may possibly pick up, the 380s. And, uh, Nikki, thank you for that super chat. Shout out to Nikki V. Appreciate you, Nikki, from your boy DJ Deuce. And uh, let's see where we are. Slat says, I'm not upset. <laughs> I don't know if he's saying it sarcastically, but I'm reading it sarcastically. <laughs> Cody says, sneaker app, trash. It really, it really is trash, the sneakers app. I hate that damn app. Like, that's why I was like, let me go to Foot Locker. Because I had, I was able to hit on those, um, 
the Luca mids. Then those sold out super quick, the Luca mids. And I was able to hit on Foot Locker. So I was like, you know what? Screw this Nike app. And you know, another thing, when you order from Nike now, they take fucking forever to ship. I mean, it takes a long time for them to ship these shoes. I understand what everything going on. So I'm not being sensitive about it. I'm not like, come on, make it happen. But we want our shoes faster. I order from Foot Locker. I get it in a week. I order from Nike. It takes three weeks to damn what get the sneaker. So I would rather buy them somewhere else than Nike. You know, I'm using Nike as the last resort for the next probably month or so. And I think a lot of you should do that, too, because of the fact that I think that they're just getting way more, you know, orders going and, and they don't have the manpower to to, you know, process all of these orders and get them out there. Um, yeah, it's because of the hype of it. It, it definitely is. It, it's all about the resale and this down the third. But, you know, that that's what that's why the shoe sold out so fast. And that's facts right there. The shoe sold out because of resale, because of hype, because everyone wants to have attention and say, look, I got the Lakers, you know, da, da, da. Let me take a picture on Instagram and get, you know, likes and, and everyone look at me, I, you know. A lot of people are into sneakers, not because they love sneakers. They're into sneakers because it's an easy way to get attention on social media, in school, out in the mall. I mean, a lot of people are looking for more attention. So it's the easiest way. To, you know, that's why you'll see so many people into the sneaker game. And then where will they be four years from now? They won't even be into sneakers no more. They're just using it as a way to get attention. Um, people that really love shoes, you, you could tell they love sneakers, you know. Like, like just by looking at their collection too. Like you see people that all they have is the hype stuff. It tells a lot about a human being too. If everything in your closet is just hype, it tells a lot about you as a person, like a, a lot about you as a person. GA Kick says, right, I'm mad, but blessed at the same time. I really wanted to add um, the add to the collection, but oh well, next time in another shoe. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, I wanted them, but I'm not losing no sleep over it, man. It's going to be so many freaking sneakers coming out, man. Like, it's all good, bro. I'm still waiting to see if I got them. Where did you order those if you're still waiting? Let's see. Holy crap. Size 13 on StockX is 548 right now. Woo. That's wild, man. Um, I've never played basketball in these shoes, so I don't know, man. Um, I heard that they're not the greatest with hoop. And I mean, if you're buying a basketball shoe, you should buy the newest LeBron. It's probably got the best technology. It doesn't even probably, it does have the best technology. This sneaker released 10 years ago. So think about it. I mean, if this shoe was still like better than what's out now, that would be pretty sad on, on Nike's part, you know? So if it's for a basketball, I would, you know, at the end of the day though, man, you either good at basketball or you not like, you know, like everyone's like all oh, about the shoes, about the shoes. It has to do with you. Michael Jordan could have damn what wore flip flops and would have kicked everyone's ass on that court. You know what I mean? And I don't mean that really, but you know what I'm saying. GA Kicks, thank you for the super chat, brother. Once again, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate everyone hitting me with these donations. If you send, by the way, via um, Cash App or PayPal, please let me know in the chat if we're live so I can shout you out and thank you. Um, because, you know, shit, I appreciate you. Um, GA Kicks writes, I hope that we have a restock, but who knows? Yeah. I mean, that's when you know when you're disappointed, when someone writes, but who knows? You know, it's like that, but who knows? It's It sucks, you know? Let's see. Tay says, goat has okay prices. All right. I don't shop at these places. I'm cheap. If I can't buy it for retail, I don't buy it. Um, Hawaiian pop says I missed on them sucks. Those are fire. Need a 14. And if anyone has a size nine and wants to do a trade, I'm not going to do resale, but I'll do value for value. Hit me up on um, Instagram at real DJ Dells. That's it right there. Real DJ Dells like the cash app. And my Twitter is at DJ Dells. So please hit me up. You want to do trades. I'm not, I'm not spending a dollar over retail. I, I don't do that. I just, I just don't. I'm cheap. Go, okay, we read this already. And thank you again for that cash app. 
not cash app, super check, excuse me. Deborah says, um, this is the only pair I didn't go for. Had to pick up the other somewhat OG colorways. Dope. That's what's up. I mean, it's a crazy. The LeBron 7's a dope shoe, guys. I'm telling you, don't sleep on them. Let's see. B Lit says stock was only a thousand pairs on Foot Locker. So either it's super limited or they're, you know, reserving their stock and, and cutting back and just putting a little bit out and then putting out a little bit more later. Um, that could be the case, guys. So let's cross our fingers and shout out to Be Lit Reviews. It's good seeing you. Excuse me one second. And I see you sent a super chat. I'm going to get to that in a second. I just want to, I like interacting with you all. You know what I mean? At least want to put your stuff on the screen, everyone. Yeah, 580 is crazy. Real expensive. Clint, what's up, man? I like seeing regulars in here. Be Lit Reviews with the Super Chat. Thank you so much, brother. Shout out to Be Lit Reviews from your boy, DJ Dills. He writes, um, good morning, my homie Dells. Passed on the sevens, looking for fours. Hey, if you're talking about LeBron fours, that would be pretty cool, man. I would like to see that, man. I would. I like the LeBron 4. LeBron 4 is like a weird futuristic looking sneaker where it's like, it looks like, it just, it's a crazy looking pair of shoes, the LeBron 4. Um, if you've never seen it, because some of you may not have seen it, you, you guys may be young ladies, check out the LeBron 4. You could actually watch my reviews. Just search DJ Dell's LeBron 4 or just go on Google and look at a photo, you know. It's a wild looking sneaker. I'm curious to hear your opinions on the LeBron four. He wrote facts. I think he's talking about when um, I was um, reading his thing, like the, the energy. I mean, it's a bummer. It's always a bummer when you want to buy something and you can't, you know. Um, e says they'll, they'll restock two times, he thinks. Yeah, he's seen the quick strike and I knew they were going to be limited as hell. That's what it is, man. Uh, LeBron sevens are nice facts. Yes, they're they're great sneakers, guys. First time LeBron seven ever sold out on this retro. <coughs> excuse me, no Corona. On this retro run, when they first released, they did sell out at times. But uh, you know, I mean, amazing shoe, amazing shoe. Uh, George says the LeBron tens are my favorite model. Yes, they're great, great shoes. The LeBron ten. Damn, I'm out of water. LeBron 10s are so freaking dope, man. If you don't know the LeBron 10 too, what hopefully they'll retro those. They will eventually. Sitting in Hong Kong. Should I cop? If you like them, yeah, why the hell not? Shit. And let's be real. If they're selling for fucking five, six hundred dollars, why not buy it and make a quick three, four hundred dollars? I ain't mad at it right now. Buy yourself a pair and make some money. Why the hell not? If there's a full size run over there, get it. You know. Listen, my uh, my thoughts on reselling has changed. If if they're sitting and there's money to be made and they're literally just sitting in Hong Kong, why not sell them? Make make four hundred dollars. My problem is the back door, and when you buy every single pair of shoes and just eliminate everyone's chance of buying the shoe. I don't like that shit, man. Or if you buy a shoe just to make $20, that's so stupid. Like people buying the Jordans that they're going to make $30. Like, dog, are you serious? Like to me, that's stupid as all hell. Um, Hawaiian Pop says, um, how do I feel about the Graffiti 17s? I love them. And I will be going for those. So, you know, I, there's this is what I'm saying. Like there's other shoes to buy, guys. I know it sucks. But um, just to justify again, man, if you were just dying for a Lakers colorway, there are other shoes out right now that is Lakers colorways that you can buy, the LeBron 17 low. Um, what do I think about the LeBron Travis Scott charity t-shirt? I don't even know about that. Please put me on to that. Tweet me about that on um, DJ Dell's. Um, I would love to know more about that. Let's see. CJ says the LeBron three Oilers, $130. Yeah, you could get it on Nike's site too for that price. It's crazy. 
No. Just going through these right here. LeBron All-Star 7 Quick Striker, the best 7s. They're, they're fire. They're absolute fire. I love them. All right, guys. Last call. Leave your questions. Super Chats. You know, Super Chats come in. The stream keeps going. That's basically how it goes down. So two-minute warning right here. Um, final thoughts on the shoe. I, I really, you know, I wanted them, but it is what it is, man. You know, I got 400 pairs of shoes at the end of the day. I don't get a pair. I'm not going to cry over them. Um, I may be a little bit annoyed if I don't get those uh, Flint 13s because I want them with the reflective. So um, that's the next sneaker that um, I want. Oh, they're on the they're on his website. Okay, I'm going to go check that out right now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'll probably cop one. Um, so, you know, I've, I've been buying like all the, the, the Scotty joints, you know, the, the upcoming album that he got coming out. Um, I'm excited about that joint, man, that collab album with Kid Cudi. So I've been buying the vinyls and the cassette tapes cause it's got cause art on it. And I like how you were able to buy them. Like it wasn't a real limited run. It was all pre-ordered. So, um, I like when he does that kind of stuff, man, like make it so that everyone can buy the shit, you know? Um, I like Travis Scott. I'm a fan of him. You know, I don't just buy one of his sneakers. I, I, I'm a fan of him. I'm, or so I wouldn't even be buying cassette tapes, you know, colored cassette tapes. Um, but I, I collect more than just sneakers. I collect music. I collect Funko Pop. I have another channel where you can see the Funko Pop that I collect. And I also have this other, the other channel where the Funko Pop and the Marvel Legends figures and all that shit is. I also interview people. I just interviewed Homeboy from Tiger King, Doc Antle. So if you're a fan of Tiger King, watch that video right now. I have it linked in the description box. I'm literally six feet away from a liger, this huge ass liger that could have killed me in seconds. So um, watch that video. You'll you'll laugh your ass off. I have an elephant that just grabs me by my face. Like it's insane. It's a crazy video. It's linked in the description box below. Watch that. I would appreciate that. And don't forget, guys, don't be a damn hype beast. You know, like there's so many other Le uh, LeBron 11, um, excuse me, LeBron effing sevens out there. If you don't own any pairs and you're that salty, buy one of these. They're dope. They're amazing. You'll love it. Doing it daily. What's up? Patreon families in the building. <laughs> Oh, man. Planet, what's up, dude? I know you love yours, bro. You love your seven, so I hate that you didn't get them, too. I really do, bro. Hit the thumbs up button, please, all right? I know not everyone got the bread for Super Chats and all that, but at least hit the thumbs up button. It's free if you enjoyed this. Six weeks of streaming every single day. I mean, if that ain't dedication, I don't know what it is. I streamed yesterday three times, and I streamed the other day three times. So, um, you know, show that love and support, and I'll keep doing it here. Share this Twitter, Facebook, and right now, please watch that video. It'll say in the description box. Um, watch that uh, that video. It'll, I'll, it literally says in caps, please watch this video. You're going to die laughing. I'm, I'm like with all these wild-ass animals. Like, it's, it's crazy. So go watch that right now. I promise you, you will piss yourself when you see this elephant just go like this with my damn face, with my hat off. It's insane i'm with tigers ligers chimpanzees it's insane link in the description much love out there everyone have a great day and i i may be back later oh we just got a super chat that came in so i'm not leaving i, I never leave super chats come in the show the show continues i think that's obnoxious if i just leave um thank you planet paperboy for that um and yeah man once again i i just i like that it sucks I, like i know him for a fact, he loves the LeBrons because he actually told me that these were up over at SNS when they first released, and I I had to buy them. So you know, I bought them off of the website SNS like immediately. I um I was so excited for them, right? And um, I still am excited. I don't care that they are sitting right now. I I wish that all of these shoes would sit. You know. I wish that we could just go to the store and just buy the shoe, you know, like, like, like we're buying a t-shirt or a pair of jeans or something. I, I hate that. It's annoying. 
I mean, you know, it's not like the sneakers free. We're paying two hundred dollars for it. Make more pairs. We got fucking money. Let us buy the damn shoe. But that's not the way the world works, and that's not realistic to think that way. Um, the shoe selling out is going to help this brand now because it's going to create hype. Now people are going to maybe start thinking about buying this shoe and the other ones that are available, the China Moons and the Red Carpets and the um, All Stars and all of that. And, and you know, hopefully people give this shoe a chance because it's a great pair of kicks, man. Score! Good for you. I'm glad someone did shit. <laughs> Sneakers says, um, I held back on the Lakers going for the graffitis. Yes, the graffitis are really, really dope. Give me one second. I got to let my dog in here. All right. Let's see. Flints are coming out on the 30th. Yeah, I'm excited about the Flints. I'm, I, I hope that... Um, you know, it's not going to be that hard to get, but I know it will be. The Flint 13 is going to be a bitch to buy, guys. So go do – if you could do raffles at your local retailers, do them. Like, it's not going to be easy. Um, let's see. Jay says, do you think they're going to drop again? Do you think the price will drop? I think they will restock, but I don't think the price will drop. There's too much hype now and value. They're on StockX for, like, $580 now. So, you know – they're just going to sell out so quick. And there's bots now that are constantly, you know, viewing these websites. It's still not going to be easy to get, even if they do restock. Um, all right, cool. You cop, man. Glad someone did. Once again, at least a few people in, the, in this stream actually was able to score these shoes that released today. Slat says 20th, correcting. All right. Um... And Planet Paperboy says, I really thought they made a lot of flints. Damn it. Um, the thing is, like, even though they make a lot of shoes, I think there's a lot of demand. You know, like, look, remember, what was the last Jordan to release? The Breads, right? Uh, they made, I think, 2 million pairs, somewhere around there. And people still struck out on that sneaker. So, you know, you got to put all that in perspective, man. Like, these shits are selling out, man. Um, it's, you got a lot of people that want the shoe. There's never enough pairs, 2 million pairs. Even if it was 1 million pairs with the bread 11s for them to sell out that quick is a trip, right? That's crazy to me. So, but I'm going to go out today and, um, I'm going to check out a few retailers because the, the mall is open and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to protect myself with a mask and everything. Um, I'm going to try to get some intel and um, find out about everything going on with, um, you know, the future of everything at, at the stores. Are they starting to get shipments in on the upcoming sneakers? Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to get you guys an early review today. Um, maybe those uh, those those uh, metallic fours, even though, it, I mean, we kind of know what the hell they look like. Everyone's seen the chrome fours. It's just different colors uh, by the eyelids, you know. Um, yeah, I I think so. Um, <laughs> I think we're gonna get a shock drop on those flints tomorrow. I think that's going down, man. So be ready. We'll do a stream tomorrow and talk about that, though. Um, you know, as long as you guys keep the good energy, I'm gonna keep streaming. Um, and let me know, you know, if I'm streaming too much, please. I I don't want to overdo it. I said that I feel like I'm overdoing it, and a few people were like, no, no, no. You got to keep streaming, man. This is getting me through shit right now. Like, So just communicate with me. I, always keep in mind, I don't have ESP. I want to entertain y'all. So, you know, just communicate with me. Even on Twitter, follow my social media. Talk to me. You know, I'm here. I'm I'm, I'm out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not hard to hit up and just say hello to. You know what I'm saying? My Instagram is right there, Real DJ Dells. That's the Cash App also. And once again, if you send a Cash App, make sure that you um, let me know so that, like, your name and everything, like, that you want shouted out. And Hugo, shout out to Hugo for the Cash App, too. Shout out to Hugo. Hugo is a pisser. I'm surprised he's not in here, but he actually cashed at me last night. So shout out to Hugo. Thank you so much for that cash app.
I, I almost I almost didn't get it, but I always check before we go. I think we're going to go soon because we're at 45 minutes. But as I said, if Super Chat comes in, the show keeps going. We, we can't just bounce like that. That's I feel like that's not right. Um, Planet Paperboy says definitely not not um, keeping them coming. I like watching. Um, I like watching them more than um, the Stitch Nines. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep rocking, man. Um, let's see. More people home buying. Yes, definitely. All right, guys. I think we're gonna wrap this one up right here. We're at 45 minutes. Right now, if you're hanging out, watch that video. Link in the description box. Once again, you see me with lions, tigers, damn what, ligers, elephants. It's the funniest video. And you get to see me wear a pair of shoes, um, some some heat. You'll see me wearing some heat. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, You'll see me rocking some J's with some of these animals, and um, it's crazy. I, mean, I literally could have died out there but next to a damn liger. So um, you got to see this vid. So watch that right now. Highly appreciate that. Link in the description box. These shoes and the others, link in the description box. Pick up a pair of LeBron 7s. Don't be an effing hype beast. I mean, for real. Um, Kayvon, I see you, dude. And um, everyone have a great weekend. I may be back later today. Turn all notifications on. Have a blessed day. All right? Love y'all. Much love, guys. Ladies, gentlemen, winners, losers, dirtbags. Let's rock. I'll see you later.